Hey friends, how are you guys doing today? I hope you're doing so, so well and welcome back to another thrifty video. Today we're going to be covering something that has been um, very stressful for me in the last few weeks. So we've recently moved and I have been working on trying to, you know, decorate our house and put boxes away and things like that. But I also have been doing my business. So I have been accumulating a pile in the corner of my office. So most of the time you guys see videos of me finding lots of amazing things at once. So I like to film a video at one location and then give you a haul from that location. But if I happen to go somewhere and only find a few things, sometimes I won't shoot an entire video for that just like small batch of items I find. And then inevitably they make their way to the corner of my office for when I've accumulated enough small thrift hauls that I can compile them together. It's just a weird way this thing works. But at this point, um, <laughs> there's a lot in the corner. Let me show you what we're working with here. <laughs> So this is what we're working with. There is a lot going on over here. There's a giant pile. I have things that have either been returned to me in the mail because the person didn't live there, they had the wrong address, and I also have some just regular returns, and then I have all these things that I have thrifted just sitting in a giant pile. So today is the day that we are going to uh, deal with these things. And since we've moved, I have moved down to doing two videos a week, which has been so helpful for me. And since I've been moving down in my number of videos I have to create a week, I've been able to deal with the the hauls so much better and I've been able to make my way through things so much quicker. So this has not been the case. This is the only really huge pile I have in our house now, which is great. So I'm trying to get through everything so I no longer have death piles and I don't have all the anxiety and stress that comes with giant piles of things sitting around. But look at that pile. Ooh, that's a sexy pile. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to move these things over to my hauling space where I can film me showing you them because they are amazing pieces, great brands, things that should resell for good money that have just been waiting until I can film a video. So here we go, let's do it. Okay, we've made it. I put everything in a giant pile. There's so much here. And just off the bat, I'm just like, oh my gosh. I only have like four things from this one trip and I've been waiting to show them to you. And it's just, it's just crazy the amount of things I can find, but only like a couple at a time sometimes. I know sometimes you see my videos and it looks like I'm finding a hundred items every time I go out. Not the case. <laughs> so first off, we have here a blouse. It's a nice black blouse, but this is from a really nice brand. It's also sold at Revolve. It's Norma Kamali. I like her pieces. They sometimes can read a little bit more mature, which I think is nice. Like this is definitely a well-made piece, a great piece. And this was marked at $4.99 at my local Goodwill. It's a size large. I sold a Norma Kamali dress not too long ago in a similar size for I think $80. So I don't think this will go for as much as that, but that's a great brand to know. A top is not going to go for as much as a dress, but still a great one. And then this was absolutely insane to me. I forgot all about this trip. This is absolutely shocking. Um, I, on this trip, found so many backpacks. My mom runs a food bank. And so I was going through all of these backpacks, picking up tons and tons for the kids at the food bank. When I happened to find this amazing bag, and I looked it up just to make sure, but I was fairly confident I knew what this was. It's not in perfect condition, but let me give you a close up so you can see the brand on here. Can you see that? It says Fendissime. Does that look like any name brand that you guys know? Um, I looked at it, I was like, this literally looks like the same font as Fendi which is a very expensive designer luxury brand. And then I did some Googling and Fendissime is the vintage form of Fendi. And I saw, this was marked at $4.99 at the thrift. All bags that are like designer get marked up so much at my thrift stores. But this looks incredible. And I was like, do they make bags that looked like this? Like this is definitely a little different. It has this little pouch on the inside and you can see here on the tag, it says Fendissime again. I could be butchering it, but all of the logos, all the tags have that on it. And then we also have on the inside, what looks to be an authentic label where it says Fendissime and made in Italy. I was super jazzed. Um, I looked up, I did a reverse image search did some Googling. They did make these kind of very interesting bags like this. They they feel like nylon-y. Anyways, they, I saw one that was smaller than this that recently sold for like $200. So yeah, this has just been sitting in that death pile, guys. Um, not, not great, but yeah, it has like a little 
small hole in the exterior. There's a little bit of puckering here. There's a little bit of pink transfer right there. But overall, this is a bigger size. I think it's gonna sell for over $100. Um, it'd be great if it'd be around 200. So vintage Fendi at my Goodwill. Like what's going on, right? So the other thing I picked up from that same trip was this really cool bag. It's a North Face. It's like a hiking bag, almost like a fanny pack, except more like pockets, definitely more structured for doing outdoorsy things like hiking and such like that. And then it has the waist strap as well. I thought it was super cool. It's definitely older. I found two different more like vintage North Face pieces. This is a little older. This was marked at $5.99. This was more expensive than the vintage Fendi bag, which is crazy to me. Um, but it's really nicely made. And I think the comps for this looked like they were around 50 bucks. So I decided to pick that up too. I thought that was really cool. There's room for your water bottle. I think this would be really neat. If we were more into like mountain hiking, I think that would be a great piece to have on hand. So yeah, and then the last piece I picked up that same day is this piece, which is vastly different, but it is a more trendy piece. It is a very cropped little corduroy jacket. It's from the brand BDG. So from Urban Outfitters, and it is new with tags from Urban Outfitters, which is why I decided to pick it up. So it's an Urban Outfitters little jacket, and then it's in a size extra small. So it's a little bit small, but again, I saw, I did a reverse image search and these pieces were selling. Some of them used for like $35. It's only marked at $5.99, and I think I got at least 10% off of everything. So I decided to pick it up for around five bucks, and I think, again, I'll probably be able to resell this somewhere between 35 and 50 bucks. So that makes it worth it for me. And there we go, one bag down. We're clearing some space in my office. Okay, let's do the garage sale next because uh, holy crap, that was an amazing garage sale. So I ended up picking up some stuff at the garage sale for my family as well. I got some home decor pieces as well. Those are already scattered to the wind, but the pieces that I have here are bangers. I believe I spent around $80 for everything and I got a recliner chair, I got a rug, I got a coffee table, I got a piece of metalwork for my mother-in-law, I got a shirt for my mom, I got a dress for my cousin, like it was a crazy garage sale. So I have some bags here and then also some clothes and um, the coach bags are really nice. I think I took off the tags already on these items. I already took off the tags on these items because I didn't want them to get stuck on. Sometimes if you leave garage sale tags or things that are a cheaper sticker on nicer items, they can sometimes get stuck and leave residue and I don't like that. So I took them off. This is a little coach bag. It is a cross body strap and then it's a nice blue like teal color gorgeous condition it looks really good they had some coach bags there that were really expensive and then i believe that i bought a couple of these i think this was only eight to twelve dollars so i decided to buy this because i know i can resell it for more than that for sure so it's a nice little coach bag it's in great condition it was a lot of nice older women running this garage sale and i just thought they were so sweet so i bought this little coach bag and i think 50 bucks for that pretty easily is my guess and then this one i was really excited about i think this one's really pretty and i feel like might be even more desirable is another little coach bag and i love this little purple floral design on it i think it's really sweet and then we have a little back pocket right there multiple pockets throughout the piece all of it really good condition oh and we still have the coach care instructions little packet on the inside here so really good really nice literally looks like it's never been used so i think for this one at least 50 dollars, probably more but i definitely did not spend that much for all of it i also picked up this backpack another backpack i was picking up <laughs> for the food bank for my mom and then i realized after i bought it because i thought it was so cute i actually realized that this is a really nice backpack and i decided to keep it to resell and it's from the brand state which i had never heard of but this whole thing just feels like so nice, like not necessarily leather, but really good quality materials. And the inside too clued me in that it was a nicer piece. It has this really interesting kind of like city map layout. It has a laptop sleeve, really cute, really good condition. Literally looks like it's never been used. And then this kind of half one color floral, half another is really sweet. So I looked up this piece and it was an over like $150 backpack. Maybe it was like three, it was like $200 or something crazy. And I saw comps for it for somewhere between like 50 and a hundred bucks. So I was like, oh, okay, I paid $5 for that. So I will put that up to resell. And then we have, oh, this one still has a tag on it. That's great. So this is another coach piece. So I think I was right with my pricing on these. This is a cute little wristlet, 
Christmassy themed. We're heading into fall and winter. Love that we're heading into fall and winter. Praise God. Um, this was only a dollar. So uh, of course I grabbed this. I also met a subscriber at this garage sale. She and her five kids were there and they were just the sweetest family. This has been probably months since that um, encounter. So let me know if that was you that I met. Thank you so much for saying hi. But this is such a cute little bag. I don't know how much we'll get for this, but it is really cute. It is coach. It's in great condition. For a dollar, I mean, I think I can resell it for at least 20 bucks. I think it's sweet. Maybe a little bit more if it's more desirable. It's been a while since I looked any of these pieces up. So I picked that up and then I spent $2 on this. I originally picked this up for GU, but she said that she, she tried it on, she didn't love it. So I'm gonna resell it. It's this really cute cropped little daisy sweater vest, which I think is so sweet. And it's from Altered State in a size medium. I've actually found so much Altered State pieces since I've moved back to Indiana. And this is just an adorable piece. I think somebody's gonna love this. I've been selling them for right around 20 bucks online. I do think I could just take this quickly to Plato's Closet and flip it for a few bucks. Probably wouldn't make very much. I am gonna just resell that online though. Probably list it around 20 bucks, 25 bucks, and then hope to make at least 12 off of that in profit. Then here's another thing that was $2 and I was like, dang, some of their stuff was very reasonably priced. This is a very cute little fluffy Sherpa jackety pullover piece. I love the color. It's a very like nice lavender color, but this is from Levi's. And so Levi's Strauss, they do make clothes and I've done pretty well reselling some of their clothes, size small. And then it also has this Levi's little logo here on the sleeve. So I thought that was really sweet. It's a really cute piece for two bucks. I'd be shocked if I couldn't sell that in my store for 25 or so. So I grabbed that. And see, this is the thing. I forgot I even bought these things. These are great too. These are just for our garage. We have all these different hooks. I bought this for 50 cents for all these hooks that screw into the wall and can hold stuff. And then for what? I got this for a dollar for all these things for our pegboard in our garage, which is where I've been storing all of my inventory. So those are super helpful. Wish I had those earlier, but you know how it goes. And then that very sweet subscriber that I met, she also gave me this, which is the first time I've ever found Stella McCartney and bought it. This is for children, but I still was very excited about it. It's $7 for the set. It's in a size 152, whatever that means. But it's this cute little Adidas Stella McCartney set. Let me show you the tag. If you find Stella McCartney, it's always worth looking up. Very expensive brand, really cool designs. Adidas by Stella McCartney, super nice pieces. So here's the front of the skirt that goes with it. Really adorable. I would say from looking at this, this looks like it's for older girls. Let's see, 11 to 12 years. So 152 is a US size medium or 11 to 12 years. And these sh little, this little skirt has built in shorts. I think that's so cute. And I love the like little shiny part along the edge with the mesh, adorable. For a set of this, I have no idea how much I'm gonna sell this for. Probably listed around 40, 50 bucks though. Something crazy. I love it though, very pleased with that. And the last two things I got from this garage sale are nice decor pieces. I told you guys I also got like tons of other things. You'll see those eventually in my house tour. But this is a gorgeous rattan basket. I'm in love with it. I imagine this hanging on one of my walls and really pretty stems coming out of it. Like a very cute bohemian farmhouse vibe. Love it. Oh my gosh, there's more inside of it that I didn't realize I had in there. This was $2. It's huge. I love it. I also forgot, apparently I picked up some cute little <laughs> cheese. I picked up some cute little like cheese dips knives. Like what do you even call these? These are stainless steel and they have some cute decorations on the little handles. These were, I got these both for 50 cents. So really cheap, really nice. They're hefty, very hefty. I wonder if I should resell those, but I got those for us, for our kitchen, for entertaining. And um, apparently I got those and I totally forgot. This is the last thing I picked up. I believe this was a dollar. It is a vintage Polaroid camera. I got this for decor. As you guys know, I film things. I like taking pictures. I like creativity and I'm gonna use this somewhere for decor in my house. Probably in my office is my guess. And that was all from one garage sale, which I probably could have made its own video except I didn't film at the garage sale because I felt weird about it. So 
love that for me. This is a pair of Ariat boots. I went into a Goodwill the other day to film some B-roll for a different video. It's like my best tips for thrifting video. And I happened to find these while I was filming B-roll. So of course I picked them up. These are a pair of black Ariat boots and they are square toe. They're in pretty great condition, to be honest. They look really good. And they were $8. I believe I had probably 10% off this time too. They're size eight and a half double E, so extra, extra wide. And they are real leather, really nice pair of shoes, really great boot, awesome condition. I think those will resell for over $50, probably closer to 75. And yeah, I spent eight bucks on those on a random day where I was doing something else, of course. And then I got both of these shoes here for, a, I think I spent $2, a dollar, and got both of these pairs of heels at a garage sale. These are what they look like. They're a peep toe, and these are from Coach and Four, so a little bit less expensive than Coach itself. They're size eight and a half. They have some really fun details there at the toe. I think, I mean, even 25 bucks. I got those for a dollar and these for a dollar. Now that I'm touching these, the strap here on the back is falling apart these are going straight into donation but those were also coaching for they give these to me for free so i am gonna just donate those um because i don't want to deal with the like leather peeling so that's a no pretty sure i showed these to you guys i don't even know where i got i don't even know where i got these i literally could not tell you where these are from did i already show you guys these i don't even know they're sorrel boots where did i get these there's no there's no tags on them great condition i think oh you know what i think i got these at a garage sale for like three bucks i think <laughs> i don't know these are a size nine and a half which are a great size my size for a pair of winter boots maybe i'll wear them but i'd be i bet i could sell these and make at least 50 bucks probably Whew. but don't worry there's a lot more this was another garage sale i went to the most insane garage sale i cannot even believe the things i got there um, I did take off tags again, but so much Athleta for so cheap. This is a really cute little light purple tie-dye t-shirt, and this is from Athleta. It's in a size 2X, so everything I picked up from this sale, a lot of the things were in plus size or extra large 2X, lovely sizes. I believe that this was a dollar or two, so I picked that up. The same thing, this is the same exact top, but in a bluish green tie-dye I know it's kind of hard to see it's very light um but also Athleta size 2x I thought that these would be super nice to either wear for me to bed or to resell online of course and then on the bottom of the green one only we have the Athleta logo again so really great condition looks like they've barely been worn and from talking with the owners of the garage sale, it seemed like the mom just likes to buy things for her daughter. She's a kind mom and the girl just never wore the things. So then we get into some of the uh, very nice new tags items I picked up. These are the Salutation Stash Pocket 2 Capri in a size extra large, originally $90 for a pair of capris. Absolutely gorgeous condition, never worn. And there is the tag on those, they're newer. You can tell by the writing of the, the style writing underneath the actual logo. These, I mean, they're brand new with tags. I bet I can sell those for at least 50, 60 bucks. And I got those, I think that those were like five bucks, something crazy. Like all of these, I did not spend very much money on. These are also new with tags from Athleta. The Salutation Textured Jogger. And these were, let's see, originally $89. They're size 1X. And this is what they look like. They're a really cute jogger, really adorable color and style. I think these are gonna photograph really well. I'm sure I'll be able to find stock photos because these are newer pieces. Again, originally $90, brand new. I bet I can sell those for at least 50 bucks, maybe more. And then the last piece I have here is a size 3X. These are the printed mesh racer run short in a four inch inseam. And these are, also really nice they have a little bit of mesh there at the bottom gorgeous purple color great size originally what fifty dollars is that what i said i bet again new with tags at least 30 bucks i would hope so wasn't that a crazy like garage sale like what was going on there i don't understand but happy that i was there and then the same goodwill that i picked up the vintage fendi bag from i got these things from there a different time and so this is a cute cute 
little Melissa and Doug just an abacus. I just think this is absolutely adorable. Jeremy and I are thinking about fostering or we'll probably have a family here eventually. And so I thought this would be really cute for a kid's room eventually. And then I also picked up that same day. Oh, look, a receipt, that's helpful. I paid $3.99 for the Melissa and Doug abacus, which you know would have been at least 20 bucks new. And then I paid $1.99, so in hand crocheted this cute little ladybug backpack. It is absolutely adorable in great condition. I thought I could sell that for sure. So cute. And then I paid $4.99 for this. And I saw the quilting on this. I just knew is probably worth good money. And it is indeed a good find. So this is called, this is from a brand called Think Royal, Royal N, Royal, Royal? <laughs> never heard of it, but the tag looked nice. It says your vibe attracts your tribe. I thought it looked really good. It's in great condition. The puffer part of it definitely screamed good condition to me, like expensive. And so I looked it up and these bags, this puffer style kind of giant bag, they were reselling for over like 50, 75, 100 bucks. So I was like, okay, for five bucks, if I can make even 50 bucks, that would be great. And so I grabbed that and I think it's really cute. I think it'll do well. So grabbed her, hopefully we'll sell her real quick. Is this fun for you guys? I hope you guys are enjoying seeing all these random finds. I had a $5 off for my birthday on this trip and I also I think had 10% off, maybe 20% off. Very confusing, but here we go. This is what I found. I don't remember this at all because um, it's been a hot minute since I found this stuff. What even is this? Oh my gosh, Athleta, okay. Athleta, size small. These are a really nice pair of flared pants with a little slit there. Really cute, black. They're $4.99, not bad. I think probably 30 bucks for those. And then we have here, why did I buy this? Oh, I think I bought this for my mom. Oh, fudge. Uh, mom, forgot that, forget that you see this. It is a really cute little Starbucks to go mug. It's just $4.99. I feel like that's kind of expensive, but I mean, 2014 Starbucks, I bet I could resell that for some money too. So we'll see what I do with that. Totally forgot I picked that up. Oh my gosh, what all is in here? Hey. I see okay so then I also this is Michael Starr's Los Angeles I think I got this for myself this is cute oh yeah I got this for myself Michael Starr's it's a good brand it doesn't resell for tons of money it was $3.99 I think that that's gonna look cute on me I like that cut for me so I'll get that and then this was $1.99 still has the tag from Starbucks for $17 one of these really cute little glass mugs. I feel like I just almost dropped it. Um, so yeah, I got that probably to resell, but oh my gosh, I'm getting a little overwhelmed here. Oh, this is for me too. This is another Athleta top, $4.99. A little black, little top, so cute. I'm excited about those. I'm glad I finally found those. I knew I had that Athleta top somewhere. Didn't know where it was, classic me. But um, yeah, but now I got two new tops, which is perfect, so love that. This is the only thing I know what this is. I got this from Amanda's Exchange, which is kind of like a buy, sell, trade store. It's like a Plato's Closet, but I feel like there's a lot more mature brands there. Uh, they must have cut off the tag already for this. This, they were having a sale. I went in, I got this really nice blue, kind of like dress, it might be a tunic. So this one is the Real Satin Dress, 100% polyester, size small from Zadig and Voltaire. So a really nice designer brand, size small. I looked up comps for this before I bought it. I could not tell you for the life of me how much I spent on this. My guess is because I'm cheap, it was probably less than 10 bucks. So I got that, I gotta get that listed. At least that one has a size on it. Some Zadig and Voltaire stuff I find I cannot find a size. And then I have this. I think my mom picked this up at a garage sale for me. I'm not exactly sure. It's a size extra, extra large. It's a Colts, really nice NFL branded like zip up jacket. It's a fleece and white. It's super cute, super nice. That will do well, happy with that. I picked this up from another garage sale. I think this was like 50 cents or a dollar. It is a really cool kind of puffer paint vintage kitten with fish sweatshirt um really fun it's by the brand spumoni it's in a size large so really interesting there's some discoloration on it but you can see here if i get close it has both fish and mice it's, 
It's just, it's too cute. I couldn't. I'm going to try to wash that one. And then we're getting into the things. My mom recently was at a garage sale. She FaceTimed me and asked me if I wanted these things and then I gave her money for them. This is a really nice Adidas and Notre Dame puffer coat. Great condition, to be honest. It is in a size extra large. Oh, it's a kid's piece. Mom, it's a kid's piece. You told me it was an extra large. Well, by golly. Okay, I can still probably list this as a men's smaller medium. Honestly, it looks pretty large. I'm gonna probably just do some measurements and then list it in the adult sizes. But that's a really nice piece. Adidas branded should do well. And then I haven't been picking up a ton of Champion lately because I just, you know, haven't been selling it as much. This is a reverse weave though. It's a cute little cropped hoodie and I thought the Champion spell out on it was really cute. I believe this was a dollar. I think all the clothes there were a dollar or two minus those jackets which were like two or three bucks. I thought that was a really cute sweatshirt. Probably list that for around 25. And then we get into the bulk of what we got which was these Clara Sun Woo pieces. So tons of Clara Sun Woo, which can do pretty well. I'm thinking for each of these, these are all tunics. I think I'm gonna sell each one for right around 20 bucks. So for a dollar a piece, worth it. These are Clara Sun Woo. It's in a size extra small. This one has this cute little kind of cutout detail here at the top. I think again, each of these is gonna be maybe 20 bucks. It could be a little bit more, just depends. This is Clara Sun Woo in a size small. They have some interesting details on the sleeve. Tunic length, here's a blue one with little cutouts on both sleeves. And again, there's the length. This one's a size small from Clara Sun Woo. This is gonna be a lot of listing for me, not gonna lie. Do I regret it? Perhaps a skosh. Size extra small. This is a nice purple one with you have that longer kind of come down on the sides there with a slit. Another Clara Sun Woo size extra small. Tunic length has the longer sides. Another size extra small. This one's a little fun. I like this kind of style perhaps a little bit more. Maybe it's just because I'm a little younger than maybe their typical clientele, but I thought that was kind of fun with the crop to it. This is another Clara Sun Woo size extra small. I got all of these things at this garage sale for like $17. So this one has a little bit of a longer side on that side. Really pretty. And then this is not Claire Summer, but it's from the same place. It's Simply Art by Dolceza. I looked up comps for this while my mom was there at the garage sale, and it actually was surprisingly good. Like, I think this will sell for somewhere between 30 bucks, like somewhere around $35. Um, very interesting, but great comps for that brand. Never heard of it. And then I got this piece for GU. I thought she would like it. She likes a crop and then it has the American flag. Do you use my exchange student from Korea? I think that she will wear that and like that. So I'll see if she wants it. We only have one more bag here. I got all these things up in Michigan. I was visiting my sister before she moved to Hong Kong. Uh, very interesting story. But this first thing I got was $1.50. All of the Christmas things at the store were like, I think like 75% off or something like that. These are Christmas crackers. So I thought it'd be fun this year to put some like small gifts in these to give to people. Who knows, I think it'll be fun. And this one was also, how many spreaders? Me, I'm like, I don't have any spreaders. I'm gonna pick some up. And then I pick up like 12 all in the same couple months. Um, but these ones have little snowmen on them. They were $2, so I think I paid a dollar for these. These ones are so cute. I think I'm gonna keep those. And then I got this bag, which is funny, probably for uh, more wall decor. I love it. I think it'd be really cute in the laundry room maybe. Like there's so many options. It's a really nice little braided bag. It was $6.99, which kind of feels expensive to me because this store was so cheap. But I mean, not bad at all. Got this to resell. It's a Kipling bag, $5.99. I've sold one of these before. I think it sold for around 35 bucks. So hopefully around that for this one too. It's missing its monkey on it, but I still think it can do well. Oh geez, did I show you this Clara Sun Woo? I just saw it hiding. I don't think I showed you that one. It's an extra small as well. So there's that. And the last thing I got was $1.51. This really cool piece of artwork that's gonna go on a wall or somewhere. I just thought that was so interesting how this was made. And I love the texture to it. So $1.50. We got home decor, we got bags, we got Christmas stuff. 
lots of things to resell. All of this was just sitting in my office. I have a literal vintage Fendi bag sitting in my office because I haven't shown it to you guys yet. So I'm glad you guys came with me today to clear this out. I'm trying to get things moving through my system so I don't have a buildup like this again. So thank you guys for coming along on this journey with me. Let me know which piece was your favorite. There's a lot to choose from here. And make sure you guys hit the subscribe button and give today's video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. And until the next video, bye.